Yeah, you know, we could. Yeah, that was a big ass yawn. I don't want. I don't want our audience to think I find you boring. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully they don't find this video boring. So, gonna do something a little different here today, pops. All right. Yeah. Um, I sent you over uh, three offers. You did. You did. Yes. So I'm working on a deal for a customer, and obviously not going to get in many details of who that is. But um, I actually think they found us through YouTube. So hey, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Uh, I've got three offers. They're looking for a Toyota Tundra in 2018. And mm -hmm. uh, what I was thinking we do today is I'll, I'll share my screen and uh, I'll show you the three vehicles. I've got the three offers. I'll pull them up on my end. And can you walk us through how to read these? Because it, it, you start doing this enough, different dealers place different things in different places. And it just, it's, it's convoluted. It's complex. Yeah, it is. AK, it's easy for you. You did it for no, it's no. It, even I have a hard time trying to figure out what they're trying to show you. All right, well here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Let me know when you see it. You should see a, a, a Tundra on your, uh, on your Tundra. Screen. I see a Tundra Precision Toyota of Tucson. And before we get into that, just for everyone that's asking, uh, this is what Ray and I do. And yes, Ray is also dad. Youroautoadvocate.com. That's our little business. That's what we do. I convinced my dad that after he retired from the car business that we could help make buying cars easier by doing it for people. So that's what we do. So if you want to work with us, youroautoadvocate.com. If you want to know how to read and compare, we're going to compare uh, this one, which is the certified pre-owned 2018 Tundra from Precision Toyota. That they the, say. Yeah. I was going to, that they say the, the, the retail price is 43522 which is probably based on Kelly Blue Book or Black Book or, or uh, well, somebody's book. And, and then they're being kind enough and generous enough to offer just $5,324 in dealer discounts to get the selling price down to 38198 which is probably still above Kelly Blue Book or Black Book or whoever's book it might be. But that's besides the point. Yeah, and the other thing that's conflict, like convoluted about this is then you see their price is thirty eight one ninety eight. But yeah. then, when, but then when you look at the um, here, I'll pull it up. I've got my Google Drive here. So Precision Toyota, that's the first one we'll look at. When you look at what they sent over, let me zoom in because this shit. Yeah. 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 The selling price is, and I know it's grainy. Sorry about that. It's thirty eight okay. six ninety seven. And what are additional fees? It's well, like, I don't know. I think you would want to ask them that. No, but it's like, what the, what the, what, 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 what are the additional fees? What is that? What does that four ninety nine represent? Is it, I don't know, a way to increase your profit by four hundred ninety nine dollars? What are those fees? So yes, you would want to. You would want to say, just out of curiosity, the four ninety nine. What is that? And then, so in addition to that, yeah. How did we go from? Well, that's even. I, I I'm gonna look forty. Well, that was that was the gold. that was the value. So that was the retail price, and then thirty eight one ninety eight, which I plus don't see. Four ninety nine thirty eight one ninety eight plus four ninety nine takes you up to thirty eight six ninety seven. Do okay. you remember we did a uh, we released a a video the other day about how um, internet pricing is a lie? Yeah. Okay, there, 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 there's your example. <laughs> there's a perfect example. When people complain about the car business, you yeah. can't blame them. This is no, right. they have they have every right to complain because you can't say that the the, the retail price is forty three five twenty two or what they call market value. And then you can't say you're discounting at five thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars and that the their price is thirty eight one ninety eight, and then when you go to buy it, it's thirty eight six ninety seven. Okay, that's a lie. All right. So then we've got our sale price. So then, and, and you can see. So here then we have a trade in value. Yep. Uh, that, does anybody know what that, that's a trade in of? I mean, is that an agreed upon value or? So across the three dealers, I've been shopping what the trade-in value is, and they've all yeah. quoted me somewhere between nine and ten thousand. So okay, yeah, that seems to be no no one's trying to play funny games. It seems there. Okay, so you so you take your your trade-in value, which is nine thousand, and it gives you a sales subtotal of uh, 
$29,697, which is still at least $499 higher than it, than it should or could be. Yep. And then the sales tax in Arizona on that's just $3,222.13 because the sales tax rate somewhere around nine point something. Which I got a question for you. So this particular customer is in California willing to drive, as you'll see, one of the other ones is in, uh, in Nevada. This one yeah. is here in Arizona. So question for you, do you pay the sales tax in the he's state? Gonna pay this, he's going to pay the sales tax in the state that he buys it. Okay. And then he'll get a credit for that in California when he registers the vehicle in California. Okay. If the sales tax amount is even higher in California, he will have to pay the difference between the 32 22 13 and whatever it might be in California or or you can ask this dealer if they have the ability to title it and register it and take care of all the taxes for California. Yeah, okay. Definitely. That's what Okay, I'm the thinking. dock fee is just a mere $487, which is um relatively speaking about halfway between what we see most dealers trying to charge these days. Yeah. Uh, the fees of $843.35, I'm going to assume that is title and registration. Okay. Okay. But I don't know that for a fact because they haven't told you. Yeah. Apparently he, he owes 6,000 on his trade. Yep. So he only has $3,000 worth of equity. Yep. So he'd only be looking to finance forty thousand two hundred and forty nine dollars and forty eight cents. All right, so that's number one. All right, yes. So we'll we'll come back to this one after we've, yeah, after we've had a chance. So that's the certified pre owned twenty. Yeah. Why don't we go over to this one? That's one you want. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Father. To uh, Frank Subaru, which also has a twenty eighteen, and they've got their listed price here at. $38,788. Okay. So let's come back over here. Let me zoom back out. So then Frank Subaru. There you go for everyone on the internet. You can see my phone number if you want to call me. Okay, we'll scroll down. Okay. So they they have they have neither dealer, well the first dealer not only didn't discount Yep. their selling price at all. They, increased. They, they were kind enough and gracious enough to only add $499 to it. Your, your good friends at Frank Subaru, where they're always frank with you, yeah, uh, that was well done. They, they, they did not discount their market value selling price, nope. uh, but they did not increase it, which is, which is a nice, nice thing. Um, now, I see their term as market value selling price, which is a nice way of saying, well, we, we don't negotiate on our used car pricing where it's all market-based. Uh, we do, we do sur we survey all the pricing in the area so that we can remain competitive. To the they use the auto. But, but, but you can, you can see if they might be willing to discount it for you. You okay. can see the benefit of buying the car in California where your customer is is the dock fee is only $85. That's the max it can be in California. Yep. Okay. So there's, there's a $402 savings right there. Okay. Yep. Uh, the tax rate is, uh, well, this doesn't reflect the trade. Yeah. Which, which I found interesting as well, because they didn't put the trade allowance and the trade difference, even though they're privy to that, like, like in, in the email threads, we've got, we've gone back and forth. Yeah. So you would, you would like to see the trade allowance. You would like to see the trade difference. Yep. You would like to, now I don't know in California if you only pay sales tax on the trade difference. Yeah. Considering that sales tax was probably paid on the trade before, you know, when they bought it. So those are things that could impact the $42,453. Yeah. That would be there. So that's the type of, you know, if you get this back from a dealership and you're trying to interpret it, uh, it's like, great, we've gone back and forth by email or over the phone, and this is what you say my trade's worth, but you know, put it in here in the worksheet. So yeah, right, we need to see it. We need, we need all the detail. So you need to get in touch with all those good folks at Frank Subaru who are always frank with you and get them to be, well, frank with you. Yeah. And, and show the, the trade allowance and 
and show the trade difference and show the payoff yep. so that you, you really know what you're looking at to finance. All right. So there's, there's work to be done on this one is what you're saying. Um, well, so far there's work to be done on both. <laughs> sounds like I'm going to be busy. All right. So then the third one that we've gotten a quote for is uh, from this dealership that's actually in Nevada. Michael. Okay. Uh, so we've got another time for this one's a, a black one, but you know, same idea. So let's okay. come back over here. And, and what were they asking you for that one? Yes. Thank you. I Can I just, uh, as an aside, I hate dealership websites. Um, there we okay. go. Okay. Well, well, maybe, that could, there's, maybe, there's... Maybe, maybe that could be your next business. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this thing over here. I've got this thing over here. And you know, there's no human being on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So, so they're all about the same price. Yep. So we got 37. Okay. Yeah. Approximately speaking. Okay. So they're charging you for a three month, 3000 mile warranty. For yeah. Which I did months. not ask for. Well, of course not because all vehicles include the Zorix shield dealer install accessory for 229. Can, Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's the margin on something like that? I mean, if you had to spitball it. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe Zurich is selling them that warranty for $179. So it's like, it's just like the easiest upsell for the dealership possible. Yeah, you're like maybe the dealer's picking up 50 bucks, but 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Nuts. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. So, so there, there you go. Well, your thirty-seven five ninety-four is suddenly two hundred and twenty-nine dollars short because, as you can see, everybody's going to get charged that. Your document, your document fee is well three ninety-nine. So that's three hundred and fourteen dollars more than California. Yep. Um, license fee is twenty-nine. Uh, I'm assuming. That's your drive out plate to get the car to California, not a California plate. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the other $608 is. You might want to ask. Yep. Um, sales tax, is that based on California sales tax or is that based on Nevada sales tax? And that's partly where I got confused because down below, down here, they listed out the Carson County taxes and fees as well. Oh, good. So they're using, they're using Nevada. Okay. Taxing. Okay. Which is, that doesn't help you. No. Because you need to know what, what California tax. And, and these, it's not like they, it's, it's not like somebody's never sold a car in Nevada to somebody that's uh, living in California. So, so yeah, they, they have the wherewithal to put this together based on California taxes. Uh, and, and the real beauty here is the, uh, do you see a trade anywhere? No, because they didn't put it on either. Got it in the email, you know, but the, and, and you ask yeah. for the detailed out the door price and this is what you get, even when you, yeah, you, you don't get, you don't get what you ask for, which is, which is one of the main reasons why customers hate dealers. And why because, customers like us. <laughs> because, because dealers just won't provide the, the customer with what they ask for because, well, they're afraid that if they do that, they're giving up some form of control. Um, and then the other thing that's, that's just epic here is a 7.9 financing rate for 48 months on a 2018 car, uh, which I'm guessing is maybe no more than four points higher than it should be. And maybe even as much as four and a half or five points higher than it should be. So, so, so what would a comfortable payment for your customer be, Zach? I'm telling you, it's not under, it's not a thousand dollars. And, 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 and go yeah. ahead. I was just gonna say, like, like this is this is the bullshit of of the retail business, and it's what we try and cut through. But look, I mean, you got to grind it out. I mean, I got to go back and forth with all these dealerships, and I got to say, and and then you got to you know show them like this is detailed what I need, mm. and please be competitive, you know, because you know what the beauty of this is. At a certain point, you're going to say, we're not charging our customers enough to do all this crap for them <laughs> because it's so time consuming, because it's so annoying, because it's so aggravating. You know, yeah. think of it from a customer perspective. They do this every three or four years and they get pissed off, justifiably so. They yeah. get aggravated. They swear they're never going into a dealership again. 
And now we're saying, don't you worry about it. We'll do this for you. And, and we're looking at, well, not only do we want to do this for you, we want to do this for, I don't know, 20 other yous that are out there this week. Okay. So that instead of doing this once every three or four years, we're banging our heads against the wall. I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 times a day, yeah. trying to, trying to get the best deals and trying to get all the information that our customers should be and are entitled to. Yeah. And the dealerships make it virtually impossible. I was going to, I thought you were going to use a different word instead of virtually. Uh, uh, but I guess it's a kid's show, so I probably shouldn't say that. I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> we're, trying, we're, trying to, we're trying to be PG at worst uh, MA14. It's, it's, it is. Or is it, it is, 17? I think it's 17. Um, okay, cool. It's a joke, this business. Um, <laughs> there's good people in it like you were. Um, you're crazy enough in retirement to let your son quit his job and start this business with you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I didn't expect us to get this busy that quickly. Um, but, but this is the type of stuff that we're dealing with. And, and maybe what we'll do is if you like this video, um, let us know in the comments below. We'll do more teardowns. We'll talk about behind the scenes what we're actually up to. And, we'll, and maybe we'll even show you where we get to in fruition with this deal. And if you're the subscriber that, you know, you know we're working on this Tundra <laughs> uh, if you feel comfortable with it, maybe we'll even get you involved and, and you can talk about your experience and just, you know, like eventually, knock on wood, it's going to take time, but we'll find the right deal for you and, and we'll get the car delivered. But it's a, it is a journey to say the least. And not a pleasant one. Yeah, yeah, but it's keeping you busy in retirement and uh, hopefully it's giving me a career that I can, feel like I made a difference in this space. Well, I, I hope so too. And uh, I'm not really looking for this career in my retirement. I, <laughs> this, is, this is a tad more second career than I had hoped for. Well, we'll get some help. You know that. Um, I, you know. I've heard that somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Now, what do, you, what do you think our viewers might think if, well, dad goes on strike? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, but I'm thinking I am. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, if people keep watching these videos, the pay will be all right. I can, I can hopefully. Except the thing is, at your age, you've told me you're not motivated by money anymore. You're no. just like, no, yeah, you, you just uh -huh. want to chill. I just want the casinos to reopen. <laughs> I, I, I want to, I want to gamble away as much of your and your sister's future inheritance as I possibly can. What's, what's wrong with that? I think mom watching down on us right now is uh, just so proud of you saying that. <laughs> well, she's, she's mad as hell at the moment and I'll hear about it later. <laughs> so, so on a slightly unrelated note for those that are still part of this conversation with us, uh, I remember when I was much younger, uh, when we, my family, I was born in Arizona and uh, we were taking a trip to, was it Lake Tahoe? Yes. And we, were, and, yeah, we flew into Reno. And how old was I? Because you know what story I'm about to tell. Yeah, you were, I don't know, maybe nine, ten. And so we're on, you know, on the plane, and it's got three rows seating or whatever. And I think it was like me and my dad and in the in the two seats in the back, and then my mom and my sister up in front of us. And uh, my dad started teaching me how to play blackjack, which I love. I love playing blackjack. And my mom just like, I mean, you, I, I was nine, so I don't remember it that well. But I know this story has always come up. She was irate. What are you doing teaching about to play blackjack at nine? <laughs> And, and my response was, it's never too early to teach a young man how to master the game of blackjack. It's an important life skill that you need. I agree wholeheartedly. My mm -hmm. friends that I've gone to the casino with, uh, Martin, if you're listening, Ryan, Garrett, you know, you, you know who you are. Uh, we've, we've gone up together. We've gone down together. And it's brought us closer as friends yeah yeah yes. yeah yeah yes. this is not this is this is not pro casino pro gambling this is probably too far in this direction um but seriously if you want more teardowns you want the behind the scenes you let us know we'll do it there's, there's nothing that brings friends closer together than losing together <laughs> that is why i avoid playing craps <laughs> as well you should